Welcome viewers to this edition of Q&A with Stockpel. Today we have the CEO of Benz Mining, Xavier brought with us. Hey Xavier, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good as well. So perhaps to give our viewers a head start, could you tell us what's the whole company all about? Yes, so Benz Mining is a uh, dual listed company listed on both the Toronto Stock Exchange and the uh, Australian Stock Exchange, uh, Gold Explorer, with a, an existing project and an existing resource in Northern Quebec and a considerable size tenement package in a grossly underexplored greenstone belt in North America. All right, before I dig dive into the projects, could you tell us how is the company actually coping during these COVID 19 times? Ah, oh, well, COVID has affected us a, a fair bit. Um, I mean, I'm based in Australia and I haven't been able to travel yet. However, uh, very early in the crisis, we built a, a, a complete technical team over in Quebec and uh, they have been impressive. We have put in place all sorts of COVID management plans. So we have been able to drill all throughout the COVID pandemic. And now Canada has been leading the way in terms of vaccination. So um, it's, it's, it's a lot more relaxed over there. Um, but still, I mean, yeah, we, we have been operating through COVID pretty much as normal. So you guys are very undisrupted and no business are continuing moving. So perhaps uh, tell us what are the current projects that you guys are handling right now? So um, we, are, um, we are expanding, we are drilling and exploring around the uh, East Main gold mine. So the uh, East Main gold mine uh, was discovered in 1969. Um, the, the deposit was discovered in 1969, and uh, there has been very little mining in the 1990s. The, the, the project was very remote up until recently. Um, it is in northern Quebec, and uh, access was difficult until the uh, government of Quebec built a road in 2016. So since 2016, the project has become a lot more mainstream. And so now we can actually drive to the project, which makes it a lot easier. Um, the East Main deposit has um, currently just under 400,000 ounces at 7.9 grams per ton, 376,000 ounces exactly. But the deposit itself is um, very specific in nature. It does have an iron sulfide with the gold. That iron sulfide is called pyrotite. And the pyrotite is detectable by electromagnetics. So when we started exploring, we actually used electromagnetics quite extensively to target. And um, since, for the last 12 months, we have been drilling electromagnetic targets. We have been drilling successfully electromagnetic targets, as uh, we have reported in the past some uh, pretty good numbers. And uh, more importantly, we continue seeing visible gold in the drilling, which is very encouraging. So um, we have discovered through electromagnetics multiple new mineralized zones, and that's what we have been drilling for the last 12 months. Right, and speaking of drilling, if I were to throw a crystal ball out there, what would you say is the projected timeline for production? Well, at this stage, um, we, we cannot be talking about production. Um, the, uh, the existing resource is well-defined, but our idea was that we needed a lot more gold in the system to make it a standalone deposit. So all we have been doing is extensional drilling. Uh, we have stepped away multiple kilometers from the existing mine, and we have been drilling on 100 by 100 meter spacing to date, which is very wide spaced because we are still exploring and trying to gauge out the um, size of the deposit and the mineralized system. And at this stage, it's still open in all directions. So we keep stepping out and we keep finding mineralization. So at this stage, we don't know how big it can grow. And, uh, and that is the beauty of it. We keep exploring, we keep finding more mineralization way outside the system. So the more we find, the more we drill. And, um, and we haven't started um, infilling to uh, put any of that into a resource yet. Right, sounds like an exciting prospect that's coming up. And um, what would you say is Ben's mining competitive advantage in this uh, gold mining market? Well, the uh, targeting, the, the targeting strategy and the electromagnetics and the direct relationship between electromagnetic targets and gold. Most gold explorers have to drill a lot of holes to uh, find more mineralization. We have a direct detection tool. If, if you look at our latest presentation on our website, you will see there are pictures there showing you um, we have 10 kilometers of mineralized strike. We know, we know when, we, when we 
took control of the project, we knew that we had mineralization spread over 10 kilometers of strike. Now, 10 kilometers is big, and when you're drilling, um, there are areas in that 10 kilometers that won't have mineralization. So you want to try and avoid these ones. Um, the direct detection tool we have using geophysics points us in the right direction every time. So through electromagnetics, we have been rationalizing drilling quite a lot. Um, we have prime targets, and every time we have drilled those targets, we have actually found mineralization. So that is the leading advantage we have. We are drilling less for more success. Right, sounds like a very good strategy. And lastly, how is uh, Ben's money currently engaging with investors? We have had several interviews um, like, uh, like yours, um, and um, hopefully in the new year, we're going to have we're going to be able to travel and resume um, face to face discussions and uh, meetings. Uh, we shall certainly uh, attend um, several of the most well known conferences on the circuit. And um, all, otherwise, the bulk of our shareholders are directly in touch with us and do receive our newsletter every time news come out. Right, sounds good. And for viewers who are keen on the Ben's money story, they have two tickers. One is on AXX, which is BNZ. The other one is on the TXXV, which is BZ. And thanks again, Javier, for being with us today. Thank you very much for your time.